Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. It is that time in which we do another massive empties. Four huge bags coming your way. Like and subscribe. And yeah, get a snack zoom in on the long video. I do reviews on everything I've used up in the past month and a half. I do this every month and a half or two months, depending on how long it takes me to use all these products up. But when I have four bags, I always do an empty. So it's time for another empties. I did the last one at, towards the end of January. But yeah, we're now in March. Let's do this, you guys. I have my comfy shirt on. I have my cute little nails, black and green. Let's get into it. Okay. Bag number one. Okay. First shower gel. Let's talk about Tropidelic, you guys. And I have a lot to say about all these scents, you guys. Girl, okay. Okay. Tropidelic shower gel. Body wash. I use this up, you guys. Okay. Keynotes are Irresistible Passion Flower, Ylang Ylang, and Misty Rainforest. Yeah, this is a no for me. So I have made a decision. I see it smells kind of good in here. But it's just too floral for me. It's a pretty scent. It's not a bad scent. If you love floral, get this. If you don't, don't. Basic. basic. It kind of goes with this black nose. But <laughs> um, I liked it in the beginning when it was in the bath. And then that floral just kind of stays with you. So if you are really into floral and you want this scent to stay with you for hours after your bath is over, this is for you. But for me, no. So I've actually made some decisions. This is also a little bit of an announcement video <laughs> as well. Might as well. I was going to do a whole separate rant about this, but I'm going to put everything in this one video and call it a day. But when it comes to bath and body works moving forward, I've decided I'm not going to get any more floral scents. I'm just really not a floral fan. I'm going to use the florals that I have in my collection already because it's too late to return those because it's been over 90 days. Um... Well, maybe I can do an even exchange. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, the point is, I'm just going to use the florals I have. Um, I'm not going to buy any more florals. So, I'm going to read the keynotes from now on. And if it has any floral in it, I'm not going to buy it. Because I'm just really... I'm not a floral person. I'm really not. So, there's no point to buy any more florals. I'm just going to use the florals I have in my collection, like I said, and call it a day. I'm only going to buy fruity coconut or gourmand from now on. And just keep it like that. So, and a lot of florals are coming for spring three. So, I'm not going to get anything from spring three. It's something you know. None of that interests me. So there probably won't be a haul from Bath & Body Works until maybe the summertime. Like May, June, depending on what comes up for summer. But Spring 3, none of that looks interesting to me. The Bridgerton Collection, I don't care about that. Strawberry Bourbon, not my thing. Lemon Pound Cake in the Shower Jewel, it's just kind of like, eh. So I'm not going to bother with that. All of these scents are, eh. You're going to see that in this, in this video. So nothing from Spring 3 interests me. So I'm not going to do a haul for Spring 3. And April, nothing's really coming out. So hopefully May and June and July, there'll be some bomb-ass summer products that coming out. Of course, there'll be an SAS haul, of course. But just letting you know. So on, if there aren't a Bath & Body Works haul for the next few months, the reason is too much floral or it's just stuff that I already have. I don't need more of or just don't really care about. It. So that's letting you guys know now. But anyway, guys, Tropidelic. Um... It was pretty, but not for me. It's a one and done because just the floral is just so intense and it stays with you and just, it's a no for me. But it's pretty though. So one and done for me, Tropidelic. That's my review on that. I like to throw everything back here. <laughs> um, Kleenex, you know the deal. Love it, use it, always always going to repurchase that. Love it, go Kleenex. The shower gel, uh, Capetti Cake Pop. This one is fantastic. Would I get more of this? Yeah, why not? The keynotes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, vanilla bean. Oh my god. It's a decadent, strong, super, super sweet vanilla. And I absolutely love it. It's definitely my favorite vanilla fragrance. Vanilla bean well is really good too, but that has that caramel mix in. This is like a pure vanilla -like, uh, gourmand scent. It's so strong as my ice water, <laughs> but it's really good. Would I get more of this? Yes. And they repackaged this into confetti cake confetti sparkle or whatever the heck it was a couple years ago so i wouldn't be surprised if they repackaged this and if they did i'd probably buy a few more at least it's really good but i have a, multiple of these left i think but this is fantastic really really good vanilla gourmand scent fantastic so i would definitely purchase that one for sure in whatever repackers they do in the future or if they bring that same one back cashmere glow this one is one of the best scents i've ever done and this is only only one of this, and it's a shame. This is such a good scent. Cashmere Glow. They need to bring this back. Instead of that awful luminous they did last year, they should have brought this back instead. Um, I'll read the whole description for you. This is back when they said descriptions on this too. Our exclusive indulgent Cashmere Glow fragrance wraps you in a com comforting warmth and luxury. Ultimate luxury. This luxurious scent is a warm blend of golden peach, exotic berries, and glowing lily petals. Indulged with shimmering vanilla and cashmere musk. 
it has a little bit of floral in it, but it's just, it's just, it's really spicy and exotic and, I don't know, it kind of reminds me, like, you remember in Sex and City 2 movie when they went to that Middle East, like, it sounds like some exotic Middle East, I don't know, Arabian Nights vibe, I live for it. Like, I'm, like, dining with the, with, like, I don't know, some Saudi prince, I don't know, it's, like, something fun, you know, exotic. Like, we're hanging out with royalty, with Arabian royalty. <laughs> I love it. It's very exotic and, like, seductive. This is a good one. Cashmere Glow Honey. Hanging out with a Saudi prince, honey. <laughs> yes. Okay. At the beach. Fabulous. A bit strong, but still really good. This is last year's packaging, I think? Or is this... I think this is last year's packaging, yeah. Beautiful packaging. That wave coming at you on the sand. So pretty. This just smells exactly what it says. It smells like you are at the beach. 100%. White frangipani blossom. So you said this has this have this does have some floral. So I'm gonna use the ones I have that are floral, but no more. Yeah, it does smell really good though. Um, toasted coconut, bergamot water, sea salt breeze, sun kiss musk. So yeah, it smells really good. You just get that coconut. You get the sea air. It's like you're having coconut sunscreen lathered all over you, and you were at the beach on a hot, hot summer day. It's good. I will use the rest of what I have. Will I get more in this? Maybe. Maybe this one. Oh, and when it comes to florals, if I do like it, then I will get the ones that I've already tried again if I like it still. But I'm not going to get, like, new ones. But I might make a few exceptions, so we'll see. But, yeah. And also Bath & Body Works. They've been coming out with so much floral lately, and I'm just kind of over it, you guys. If I'm turning, it's because I have this dye here I want to review. But, um, yeah, I'm just sick of the florals, you guys. Too much floral this past year, especially. And more florals coming. And we need more gourmand. We need more fruity scents. We need more coconut. We don't need any more florals. And if you're a floral girly, you've been living for it. Bath and Body Works lately. I'm not a floral person. So that's why there hasn't been a haul in the past month. And there probably won't be for a while until they have more gourmands out, girl. More fruity, more fun. Because I'm tired of the repackages. I'm tired of the... F everything has floral on it. Girl. Or woodsy scent. Like, what? Girl, no. Anyway, at the beach is good. I would get more of this possibly, maybe, in the future. Yeah. Okay. But I have some more in my collection already. We need more of this, girl. We need more strawberry pound cake. We love this. Well, we already do. Anyway, we already get this every year. And that's, there's a reason why, because it's so good. This is this year's packaging brush my nails. Keynotes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake with cream. Oh, my God. Mm. The reason why I don't want to get that strawberry bourbon is because I remember back in the day, it was just a less better version of this and I have this so I get that and also that has all that it has like it doesn't have like a wood scent and like all this floral with it I'm like girl no if I smell it during SAS and like it maybe I'll get it then but I don't think I'll get it before then anyway um this is good will I get more of this during SAS probably yeah I love strawberry pound cake it is bomb.com never come enough with this I use this like every month it's that good now I love it it's fabulous and then this one you guys this is my bae this sweetheart cherry. Now, this is the only scent this year that's new that I'm like living for and hoarding. The rest of them are just eh, which you'll find out in this, in this video. Sweetheart cherry, you guys. Oh my god. Every time I use this, I like it even more and more. I have another one I'm gonna use tomorrow in the, in the bath lining up. So there'll be another one next year's, next year's, next uh, empties, which will be probably in May? Possibly May, because it's March now. So good. Oh, I mean, there's no words. It's a van creamy vanilla cherry float in the bath. It is so good. If you're not a pistachio fan, don't worry. In the bath, you don't really get pistachio. It just comes up as a creamy gourmand in the bath. You get the more as pistachio when you smell it like here, but oh god, it just it is so good. For SAS, I'm gonna get like 20 more. I'm not even kidding. About because if this doesn't come back, I have to hoard it. So this is the one scent for SAS in June, in which I am going to hoard like crazy. This is so good, you guys. Oh, usually I love a scent that I kind of get over quickly. No. I use this, I love it more and more every time I use it. Sweetheart Cherry, your bae. We stand, honey. We live for you, girl. Yes. I'm afraid it'll go behind the bed. That's what I'm like wondering. It doesn't go in there. Anyway, um, hair color, you guys. 
Um, I'm actually gonna color my hair very soon this week. Just the same color. Just gonna color it again. Some some of these grays are on the show, bro. <laughs> but yeah, so it's the same color as last time. Black, brown. So you see that in the next end piece. But yeah, this is my mom's hair color. She always uses this always. 6.0 light brown. Uh, of the Olea Garnier. So she always, every few weeks, uses this. So always repurchase wherever she lives for this. I use up a concealer. Um, I always use this up. This is really good. This is the... Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. I will say, I'm thinking about getting a new concealer, you guys, because this one, I've noticed, now that I'm doing makeup a lot more often, never on camera, though, unfortunately. Well, sometimes I have some in my videos, I have some makeup on lately, but yeah. Um, often on camera, I have no makeup on, because, I don't know, because I just want to film, and when I put makeup on, it takes me hours to do, and then it's like, ugh, anyway. Or this is my energy of filming, if that makes sense. But anyway, so, but trust me, I'm putting makeup off camera all the time, like I always have makeup on, like every other day, usually. I, have, I have do a full face. This is fun. So anyway, 30 Light Honey, the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. I always use this, but I don't know if I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to finish the ones I have and then be done with it because they're so... Now that I'm using makeup... Okay, the whole... Circling back to what I was saying earlier is the reason why I'm using these up so fast is because there's so little product in here. It's only... What's the size? Does it say what the product size is? I don't even know. Whatever. Anyway, there's like very little product in here. So I maybe after maybe like a week or so, I finish this off. It's crazy. And I have a lot of concealer to cover up all this five o'clock shadow, honey. So, um, and I also put it on my eyebrows too, you know, cause I always shave everything off and then I just um, draw the eyebrows in when I do my full face. Anyway, um, so I want something that like lasts longer. So I may, I don't think I'm gonna get more of this. I may, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I either wanna just maybe use some of the Jovi Star Cosmetics one that has been sitting lingering around, or I might maybe go to Ulta or the Wal Walgreens or something like that, or and just buy a bunch of like those those cheapos. Because honestly, when it comes to my face and my eyebrows, I don't care like what concealer I use as long as it's full coverage. But the Jovi Star Cosmetics, I love it for the under eye because it doesn't make my eye like it doesn't make my under uh, doesn't make my under eye crease. A lot of other as concealers, concealers in the past do, especially the drugstore one. And then maybe it's different now, but in the past I did. So for the covering my eyebrows and the five o'clock shadow, I just use any concealer that's full cover. So I don't know. I might get another brand. I might try it, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this or not. But yeah, this is the 30 Light Honey Essence, the one I always use. And I have multiple of these coming in these hauls. So I have used a bunch of these. I always use those up pretty fast. Mango Mai Tai, you guys. This one is so good. And we're going to talk about the other uh, scent, the pineapple mango, coming up in this video, too. So, um, before that came out, I was like, they need to bring this back. But I still think that they still, they still need to bring this one back. The Mango Mai Tai it is really, really good. It's a really good mango fragrance. Um, mango Nectar, Sunkissed Guava, Sugar Cane. Yeah, this one's good. They should bring this back. It's nice. This came out, what, 21, 22, around that era? Maybe 21, I don't know, or 2020. This one's good. If, if, this, if this came out again, I would get more of this. Mega Mai Tai, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> don't you hate that, like, you feel the burp coming, and then, like, it's a false alarm. It's like, nope, nope, not, not coming. <laughs> Always happens, you guys. Okay, um, oh, Valentine's Day paper plates. Finished with those. Obviously, Valentine's Day is over now. We finished her. I'll purchase that next year <laughs> for Valentine's Day. And then I use the napkins, Valentine's Day napkins as well. Yeah, I finished all those, which is great. Um, I do need to go to Hobby Lobby though soon and get spring and summer plates and napkins. So that'll be maybe a do a haul on that. It's coming up soon or something. I also need to go to Dollar Tree too. So maybe a haul coming of that. Um, and I'm doing a beauty haul maybe soon too. I do have more Jervis Star Cosmetics to haul, but it's not enough to do a whole video. So I might, and I, I'm going to do some few things from Ulta, so I'm, I might combine everything and do a haul next week. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. More hauls coming later this month. A beauty one, and then maybe a Dollar Tree, Harvey Lobby one as well. Okay, I finished um, the Akivia Oasis for the Stigmatism Right Lens um, Contacts. So for the right eye. I finished that one. Um, yeah, so I finished one of those ones. The right eye for that. Um, Arm & Hammer Advanced Whites, finished that. Oh, and of course I'm going to purchase this, duh, <laughs> for the contacts. Every two weeks I replace it. And but I take it every night before I go to bed, obviously. And then this I'm going to purchase too because this is good. The Advanced White Arm & Hammer. This one and then the other one, I forgot what it's called. I might have it here, do I? I don't know. That I always use. 
are really good. I'm not picky with toothpaste, as long as it pays my teeth, I'm like, whatever. So I want to probably purchase all those. And I actually finished a whole box of it, you guys. I finished a whole box of it. Yes. Okay, work. Contactlensking.com. They better work. Not sponsored. Wish I was, girl. They better work. <laughs> okay. There's a shower gel. Cinnamon donut swirl, you guys. I am so bummed about it. And I'll tell you why I'm bummed about it. Okay. So, sweet cinnamon brown sugar fluffy dough. Okay. I'm not bummed because it's bad. I'm bummed because it's good. I'll tell you why. So I use this in the shower, right? And I was like, eh, I wasn't really impressed. Then I use it, now I'm taking baths, so use everything up quickly, shower gel wise. I love it in the bath. It smells so good in the bath. And the shower gel, in the shower gel, in the shower, it just kind of smells kind of like ant bland or like a repackage, but no, it's not a repackage. And it smells so good. And I only bought one. <gasps> and now it's never gonna come back. And I wish I would have hoarded it. It came out two summers ago. But I got it during a winter semi-annual sale, like a six months after it came out. Um, this packaging is so cute, by the way. This is such a good scent. A lot of people weren't really effing with it, but I loved it. Oh, God, it's so good. It smells like an actual cinnamon donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Ugh. Or like shit, please. It smells so good, you guys. They need more gourmands. Stop with the floral, by the way. <laughs> All the floral grows like, girl. I hate floral. I hate it. <laughs> On Grimmons only. <laughs> and Fruity Fens. Oh, this is a good one, too. Okay, sounds like we have a collab. Is this one from, like, 2018? Girl throwback. We have some throwbacks in this, in this video, which is cool. Like, the cashmere glow, and then we have this. Yeah, girl. Okay, um, say hello to refreshingly fragranced, oh so cool, summer skin. Suncoast guava, pink passion fruit, wild orchid, sugar, coconut. This one was good. I don't think I want this to come back, though. It was just a one and done, but it was good, though. I'm glad I finally got to use it. The only good thing about Bath & Body being, like, lame right now and, like, flopping, ugh, I feel like they're in their flop era. There, I said it, girl. Bath & Body are in your flop era, in my opinion, because it's too much repackaged in floral. But anyway, and then even the spring, too, like, when I think back at it, like, it's just the same sense that you come back every year is better packaging, the cute packaging, right? The only new scents were just that pineapple mango and then the tropidelic more floral and then you did pineapple mango because everyone loves the candle and the soap in it so it's like you're playing it safe that's about it you always play it safe too many repackages girl that's about it take risks have more fun sense again we're tired of the same boring stuff oh this is good though <laughs> but it's the one in denim sounds like guava colada i don't think they'll ever come i don't think they'll ever bring this back again but it's good if they brought it back again, when I get it back again, eh, maybe I'll buy it if they brought it back, maybe, I don't know. Okay. Toilet roll, love it. Always repurchase it. Um, oh, these are the wipes, uh, the wipes, the cotton rounds I use to take my makeup off. Love those. Love it. Repurchase it, of course. I will. Contacts, love it. Always repurchase. <laughs> and then, love it. Always repurchase. The petroleum jelly. Quay. My hands are always so dry because I'm always washing my hands. I use it for my hands. Every single day and night. Live for this. Love it. Always a purchase for me. Quite. Okay. First bag is done. Yes. Okay. So that over there. Next bag. Bam. It's trash. Speaking of dry hands, girl. This dries me dries me out. Dries my hands out, but it's really it's it's good soap. You know, it's it's fragrance free. And that's what I can do. So, um, yeah. Always your purchase equate. Love it. Always use it. Always your purchase. You know how it is by now. Mom used another hair color. The same as always. This one's their light brown. Garnier. She loves this. Always your purchase. Um, this is a paper towel. Love it. Always your purchase. Paper towels. <laughs> toilet roll. Love it. Always your purchase. You know, toilet paper again. Okay, now let's talk about the Rio Pineapple Mango. This is the one that came dead, so I want to use it first. Okay, remember how I was like, I want to get 20 more? No. And I'll tell you why. Okay, so... <laughs> fresh pineapple juice, mango... I always mix it up. Fresh pineapple juice, comma, mango, comma, vine wrapping... Vine... Ripen, not wrapping. <laughs> Raspberry. I do like it. It smells like fruit juice. But that's what I'm not getting more. It just smells like 
basically gets fruit juice in the bath. Like, I like it. I'm glad I got the nine, because it is iconic. And I'll use the one I have it up. I'll have, uh, what? I'll use what I have in it up. But, and it kind of goes these radios, okay. Um, but it's just kind of like a basic fruit juice, like, you, like you're like you bathing in fruit juice. So the thing is, I get why they put florals and fruity scents, to make it more complex. But I'd rather a basic scent being fruity than just having a floral in it, because floral gives me allergies, so I'm like... I'm not a floral fan, you guys. I'm just not. So, I don't know. Bath and Body Works. Anyway, I do like Gourmand better though. But I do like Fruity too. I'm glad I got the nine I got. So I used one, eight more left. I will use those up, but will I get more? No, I'm good with the eight that I have in it. It's just a free set, you know, whatever. It is good, I do like it. But it's, I'm not like gooped and gag, you know, anymore. Like, it's cute, and I'll use what I have in it, but I won't get more. Yeah, Rio Pineapple Mango, but if, if I choose my mind, we'll see. There's always that say yes, you know? And yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm like, bam. Okay, now this is a, always a purchase, you guys. This is the vanilla. Well, actually, no, this one isn't because I actually want to get a shade. So I got one that's too dark, right? The warm beige, too dark for me. And then the vanilla is too light, but I got it in purpose because I want to do like, make the other one, the darker one lighter. So yeah. So it's more my shade, the vanilla mixed with the warm beige, but it's still not exactly, exactly my shade. So I'm going to try the warm nude. I'm going to order it next haul and we're going to try that and see if the warm nude will be my perfect match. We'll see, girl. Okay. This is the vanilla. I did finish the vanilla one up. Or I think this is the one that I'm using right now. I don't know. Anyway, this is the box. The vanilla. This is the Born This Way, Too Faced, 24-hour, oil-free, oil-controlling, waterproof, transfer-resistant, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, if you have oily skin like me, get the matte version. Don't get... Yeah, if you have regular skin or um, dry skin, don't get the matte because you will be dry the house. <laughs> if you oil like me, get the matte. Yeah. So this is the vanilla one. And this, this is like $46. So this is expensive the house, but it's worth it. And it comes with the 30 milliliters, which is a one fluid ounce. So it's typical. Vanilla shade. Vanilla. But again, I mix that with the, with the, yeah, with the, yeah, with the one beige. Okay. Oh, actually, here it is. Hi. <laughs> but I think this is the one that I finished. And I think I have one that I'm using. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, but I finished one vanilla one. Vanilla. I don't know why I want to smell it, but it smells like foundation. <laughs> But yeah, will I purchase this? Probably not, because again, vanilla by itself is too light for me. It really is. So, yeah, but this was good though. I love the coverage on this. I don't do any of that. Like, you know, like that trend now of everything has to be dewy and glowy, girl. I'm only the house. I cannot be dewy and glowy in this thing. And I, and I don't want light coverage. If I'm putting makeup on, I want to be like Barbie out, okay? All that light coverage and like glowy, girl, girl. No, <laughs> not for me, girl. Anyway, I want to cover this all up, Miss Thing. <laughs> so if you want your face to be covered up, honey, and matte and Barbie, get this one. It's full coverage, and it's um, good for oily skin. The matte, born this way, 24-hour foundation. Fantastic. Always purchase this brand. It's fantastic. Um, just a different shade of purchasing this pre-trip, yeah. But I have one more of those I'm going to use up before, yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, a beauty blender, I used it. <laughs> I don't clean my beauty blenders. I just use it, and then I throw it out being honest so it looks so it looks like a doogie in here it's so gross but it's just a foundation i promise not a doogie <laughs> it'd be so gross like he's a doogie ew it looks so gross but hey it's an empty and he's an empty girl uh empties aren't always pretty but they're empty yeah it's just a foundation um that's in this gross little thing i know it's so gross but yeah <laughs> it's not a doogie girl it's a foundation blender with foundation on it and a little plastic pouch that has foundation on it. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Um, I use a cheer. Cheer up buttercup. Um, yeah, this is a repurchase for sure. My parents love this. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just basically, it's just, just detergent. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's good and it works. And um, yeah, there we go. We're going to purchase this again. So we love this. So you'll see this in, other, in more empties coming up. Actually, another one, maybe. <laughs> and this empties. Hey. Um, so we live for that. Definitely going to purchase that. I'm going to finish with a good one at the very end. But let's finish these two really quickly. Another contact. Ooh. We're going to purchase that, of course. Love a contact. Girl, so I can see, girl. Um, and then, of course, the Equate to rinse my contacts. I use a ton of this, this Equate Moisture Last to store my contacts, to rinse them out, to clean them out, girl. Live for the Equate Moisture Last. 
12 ounce fluid ounce um, contact cleaner. Live and always refer just for this one. Love that. Oh, there's some more things here. Okay. Oh, gosh, girl. Another contact. <laughs> and then I finished. Oh, look how this. Okay, this is the one I draw my pen, my, my, my brows on. And oh, it's so, like, I can't get it out. But anyway, I put it, it's, anyway, you get the point. It's the Eyebrow Essence Designer in Deepest Brown or Darkest Brown, I think. I think it's Darkest Brown. Oh, there we go. Deep Brown. Yeah, Deep Brown. Is it going to focus? you get the point it's 11 deep brown just take my word for it <laughs> 11 deep brown um that was finished and i have a bunch of yeah and it's really good it, it, it works i like it will i purchase this maybe maybe yeah it's good though okay 11 deepest brown is it deepest or darkest i keep forgetting deep brown 11, 11 deep brown there we go <laughs> it's so hard to get it out because my nails 11D Brown. So yeah, Essence 11D Brown Eyebrow Designer from Ulta, in case you want to order the same thing as me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's good for my skin tone. It's like perfect. It's like lighter than my hair, but darker than my skin. It's like good medium. Good medium range. Okay, and last but not least, for this, um, so yeah, I will repurchase this, possibly this eyeliner, this uh, eyebrow pencil. Okay, ew, it just dropped. <laughs> I think it was gonna happen if I did this too many times. And last but not least, this bat and the shower joke. My the body works, and let's review this too, girl. Okay. Golden kiwi, juicy star fruit, solar woods. Always woods, right? It smells really good when you smell it, right? In here and in the bath, it's not bad. I'm either, I bought three. I'll have two more extras. I'll use it, but it's just kind of like basic, you know? And not basic. Like, it's basic good, but it's, like, it, it's not basic good I want to repurchase. It's basic good, like, I'm good. You know? It's like, I'm good. Yeah. It's just all right. You know? I have two backups. I'm good, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's the burp that was waiting for earlier. It smells better. It smells better like this than smell in the bath. In the bath, it's just kind of like... It's just... Okay. That's good. Fine. fine you know, fine. It's Okay. It's not blowing me away. Yeah, that's why I never did that other haul. Remember, like, last month, I was like, oh, another haul next week? That's why I didn't do that haul, because all this is just kind of like, eh, I'm good with what I have, you know what I'm saying? Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, this bag is done, you guys. Okay, we're halfway through, you guys. Oh, my, this is what this video is long, because we're, we're only halfway through, and it's, like, 30 minutes in. That's why these are longer. Okay, third bag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this trashness, mama. <laughs> okay, we have this. We literally finished this this evening. <laughs> yes. Um, this is the Equate Everyday Clean Wipes. I don't have to even say why I use this girl, but it needs to be used. We love her. Fragrance-free Everyday Clean Wipes. Do not flush. <laughs> yes. Use this to keep myself clean. I think we know what I use it for. And yeah, definitely uses every day. Love it. Need more. Already bought two backups. We're good. Always repurchase it. It's really affordable and good. And it's from Equate. Why hasn't Equate sponsored me? Only God knows. I don't even know. <laughs> Equate. Hit your girl up. What's up? Um, compared to Huggies, girl. <laughs> this is good. I know I'll always repurchase. This is amazing. So love it. Always repurchase the Equate. Everyday clean wipes to keep me clean and delicious always. Okay, another um, hair color, you know the deal. 6.0 light brown. She loves it. She'll always purchase it. My mom, yeah. Oh, girl. Batteries, Miss Thing. This I used to light up the candle holder, the pineapple one I got last year. I'm using this year again, the light up pineapple that shimmers and glitters. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that. Oh, okay. One thing at a time. So this is a double A. Bought multiple, will repurchase it. It's good. It's affordable, good battery, double A. This is from the brand E Circuit. I think you guys said Dollar Tree, I think. Anyway, speaking of the, uh, that, so I, the reason I didn't do a spring tour is because I feel like the last one didn't do as well view wise, and I feel like it's just so, I don't know. I feel like the tours, I'm all, I'm just, I'm just, when it comes to house tours, I'm just gonna do the fall, Halloween, and Christmas ones, because those do really good view wise. The Valentine's one didn't do that well. The spring one, I feel like wouldn't do that well either. Um, and then also, I feel like, the decorations weren't that, oh my god, like, I did, I usually, mostly just used, like, last year's decorations, and I added some this year, so they weren't, like, I wasn't shook by it, you know? You know, when you, you see, you've seen this little Easter egg pillow, 
my videos a million times anyways. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I do a spring tour. So I'll probably just do... I might do summer one if, if I do, like, a lot of summer stuff. I might do summer one. But I feel like the tours don't get a lot of views unless it's fall or Christmas. Anyway. And those are the ones I really go all out anyway. So that's why I didn't do one for spring, in case you're wondering. Because I know I said I was going to do a spring Easter tour, but... but yeah. Anyway, you guys. So, yeah. Cheer. Another cheer. So, obviously, we love the cheer. So, we love this. We're going to purchase this, of course. So, second cheer in the hall. In the hall. In the, in the video. In the empties. Um, let's do this finished boring ones first. Kleenex. Love it or purchase it. You know how it is. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what is this? this is paper towel. Love it or purchase. Paper towel. We love that. Same with the toilet roll. Love it or purchase. More wipes. Um, more wipes, more cotton rounds. Yes, love it. Repurchase is from Claris. Claris, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get the boring stuff out of the way, and then we'll do the shower dose at the very end. Oh, this bag is going by fast, bro. <laughs> Maybe this video won't be as long, although it's always 30 minutes long. But anyway, <clears throat> okay, so uh, more of the contacts. We live for her. I love how this video is like a rant, review, and an MPs all combined. <laughs> Don't you love that? Hey, yeah, you know how I feel about this. The, uh, 30 Light Honey Essence Camouflage Concealer. I'm that concealer. Love it. But I feel like it is $3, though. So I guess you get what you're paying for when it comes to, like, uh, the amount. But I use a lot of concealer, girl. <laughs> and foundation. So I want it to last more than, like, four or five uses. You know, I'm like, girl. So anyway, I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of on the fence whether I want to purchase this. It is cheap. So it isn't like a, you know what I mean? It's good product. It works really well, but it's just, you know, like, I'm on the fence with this one. I like it, but I want more product. But then if you want more product, you, want, you need to be more money. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see if I end up getting more of that or not. <sighs> you guys. I do like 2D Fruity Candy. I know it's come back. I didn't get more because it's just okay. Like, it's nice, but I'm good with what I have in it, you know? 2D Fruity Candy. It just smells like 2D Fruity. It just smells like a... It smells kind of like a jelly bean skittle kind of thing. It's just alright. I did like it. I'd like it. But do I, do I need to get more in this year's packaging? No, that's why I didn't get more. Yeah. And the keynotes are sweet jelly beans, mixed berry, sugar, and lemon. It's nice. It is pretty sad. It's a nice fruity scent. There's no floral in it, thank God. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I like it, you guys. And yeah. The thing about lemon pound cake, yeah, lemon pound cake's coming back, right? But then the thing is, in the shower, it's really just okay. So that's why I don't need to get more in there. That's why I'm not going to eat more of that either. So, yeah. I like in the cream, but I don't use creams because of the fragrance, yeah. Anyway. Um, I can't do stuff that, like, lingers my body. Shower gel and scrubs usually don't. And the ones that do, I don't get more of, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but, like, sprays and, like, lotions, like, fragrance, fragrance lotions, they, like, last my body and they make me have allergies. That's why I can't do creams anymore. You guys know, yeah. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, two more shower gels to review. So, we have Butterfly, which is coming back this year, new packaging. You guys, this one is so light, which I like because I don't really get allergies with it, but it's so basic and light that I'm like, what's the point of this not even being there? It smells strong in, like, to smell like this, but in the bath, it's super light. Keynotes are raspberry nectar, iris petals, airy vanilla. I don't know if this year's packaging is, like, stronger. I don't know. You guys let me know. But this is two years ago packaging when it came up first in 2022. It smells really pretty, but, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, it's just kind of like basic and light, so that's the one I'm done. But I have more of that anyway, so I'll use it eventually, And but I'm not going to get more of it for sure. And then I love me, me in Miami. Now, when I use this, I'm like, oh, I need to get more of this. And then by the time I'm done using it, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I do like it. I'm glad I got what I got in it. But at the end of the day, when I'm done with everything I have in this, I'm done. Yeah, because... <clears throat> It's a bit too over the top for me when it's all said and done. Breezy palm trees, cabana coladas, sun, sun, oh, someone said sun kissed. Sun tanned days, not kissed, tanned. Yeah, it smells good. It, it smells, like when you first get in the bath, you're like, oh my God, it smells amazing. And then you kind of get tired of it towards the end of the bath. It's, oh, <laughs> it's a strong candy banana with the coconut and that sunscreen you kind of vibe. And it's like, this is similar to me, like, at the beach. Like, it's really good, but then you kind of get a little sick of it towards the end. You know what I mean? She's extra the house down. Kind of like you have a friend over, and she sleeps over for a couple days, and by the end of it, you're like, you know, I love you, girl, but it's time for you to go home, this thing. <laughs> you know, I need a break, girl. So, yeah. 
yeah she's just she's cute we stand but when she's done all the backups i have once they're over that's it <laughs> yes yeah, being sassy oh yeah and this bag is done okay anyway okay guys the end is near <laughs> 35 minutes long <laughs> last bag of empties let's do this it's been strong girl we have a lysol la laundry laundry <laughs> my southern accent comes out sometimes like it, it comes out in bursts when it comes out it comes out strong miss thing laundry <laughs> lysol laundry sanitizer zero percent bleach use as an additive this is a cute package <laughs> I'm done, you guys. Crisp Lennon, Lennon, La Ta John Lennon. I'm done. Linen, not Lennon. Oh my God. A little bit in her lips. Okay. No, um, kills cold and flu viruses. Tested and proven to kill the COVID-19 virus. Oh my God. Anyway, guys. Um, I'm not going to smell this because ew. But um, yeah, we love it. We're going to get more of this. We already have. And you might see this in more of my empties coming up, girl. Hi. Okay, so Lysol. We live for you, girl. Lysol, laundry, sanitizer, you better work. <laughs> so we love you and we'll get more of you, girl. So yes, definitely repurchase for that, for sure. We love and repurchase this, the top's missing on this. But um, this is the H-E-B, it's a local grocery store here. I live in Texas, hey, Houston, South Texas, girl. Houston, Texas, what's up, girl? Um, Mi Tienda, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, um, Tough on Greece, Mandarina. Oh, that's Spanish for Mandarin, right, yeah. And then it's a liquid detergent. Yeah. Oh, it's a dishwashing liquid. Dishwashing liquid soap. We love her and we'll always repurchase her. Are we stand? <laughs> well, they do because I don't clean dishes at all. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway. Well, yeah, I do sometimes. Rarely. Ah, yes. But they do and they live right. So, yeah. Okay. Laura Mercier. So, this is the one I need to get on the back of them because um, I'm on my last one. It's a translucent. Yeah, we love her. Um, I don't know why she's that empty box. But yeah, um, yeah. but this is the one I want to get more of. So this is another haul, you guys. This is the best setting powder ever. La Mercier Translucent. Yeah, better work. Now, I do clean the dishes sometimes. I do. Sometimes. Ah, I'm done. I'm done, you guys. I'm not that spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Translucent. So yeah, this one's really, really good. Um... Yeah, so I have to get more coming up. It's expensive. She's fifty dollars. She's expensive, but she's worth it, girl. She's my face looking sickening. I almost said fear sense and sickening something. Fear sense sickening. Always purchase that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, and this is the actual thing. Has <laughs> the box, and this is the actual thing. So I finished her Miss Translucent. She looks gross, but she's cute. Love my CA because I got foundation on the bottom of it. So this comes in <sighs> one ounce. So yeah live for her okay what else lotion you guys i smear this on me girl i smear this on me like crazy live for this use it up fast always a purchase fragrance free really really good i love you equate daily moisturizing lotion 33 fluid ounce we stand forever we love you okay always a purchase that paper towels you know the deal with that love that always a purchase it Butter cups and butter cups, butter cups and berry bellini. This one is really good, you guys. Strawberry puree, buttercup flowers, bubbly prosecco. I actually like this one. I really do. I mean, I don't. If he comes back, would I get more? I don't know. Probably not. Because let's be honest, I have some more stuff in my collection by this point. But but it was good. I enjoyed it. It was one and done because I don't have more. And it's nice, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Packaging is cute. This came out two years ago. It was cute. Better cups and very blingy, honey. Okay. Mom used up a soothing. Oh, soothing. Smoothing, not soothing. Well, it was smoothing and soothing. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Soothing and smoothing. Um, smoothing conditioner from Granny Fruity. She always uses. These are all in my empties every single time. Oh, my nails. Hi. Hey, girl. Match my nails. Um. Yeah, you know the deal about this. <clears throat> Has plant carrots and argan oil. My throat's starting to fill because my all these smelling all these things. <clears throat> my throat. <sighs> oh, I'm getting hungry too, girl. Mm. I get a snack, girl. Um, okay. So yeah, it has the plant carotene and argon argan oil. Um, system for up to three days. 
three days of sleek for frizzy dry hair girl so it takes your frizzies away takes your dry hair away <laughs> I'm so sassy. We live and we stand and we will for purchase them. We, I mean her, my mom, yeah. So she uses the, the conditioner on that. And what else, girl? Okay, so I use up these Pink Pineapple Sunrise uh, body scrub. You know how I feel about this. I have to say in every single video until it always are gone. It's a good product. It exfoliates me up and down and house down boots. But, and it's a big butt, you guys. A big butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I'm just kidding. Um... The cleanup afterwards, I hate this exfoliating bee scrub because the cleanup, like, that's why I didn't get, like, any more of this, yeah. Because the cleanup, girl, I have to clean the whole bath after I'm done. There's all this sand. And even afterwards, for days, there's, like, little sand particles in the bath. I'm like, Miss Thing, I feel like I'm at the beach, Miss Thing. Okay. Sweet pink pineapple, palm nectar, sun drenched nectar. Wait. <laughs> I'm done, you guys. Sweet Pink Pineapple Palm Sugar Sun Drenched Nectar, you guys. It smells really good. And this is such a good product. It really is. It just... It just... That sand, though. Girl. No, ma'am. <laughs> so, like I said, I'll use what I have in it, but then I'm done. Never purchasing another beach sand scrub in my entire life, but I'll use what I have in it. Watermelon mojito, you guys. This one is so good. Uh, they should have brought this back. I knew they wouldn't. That's why I stocked up on last year's, but this one's so good. Watermelon soda, pink rum, cane sugar. Oh my God. It smells like, okay. Watermelon soda, watermelon gum, and watermelon lava taffy all combined. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. If this comes back, will I purchase? Hell yes. I wish I would have gotten more. Only reason to get more last summer for SAS because that watermelon, the green watermelon came back and I, and I had to switch watermelon scents and that one's also really good, but I like this one better. But, um, and the green watermelon is a repackage of the blast and I already have, so I have to switch watermelon scents, but if this ever comes back, I will purchase a, t a ton of it. It's so good. Watermelon mojito, we love and miss you. Uh, we love you, girl. All right, Pete, because I don't think she'll ever come back and she should. She's so good. Yeah, I'll ever purchase her if she ever, ever comes back. My mom finished lemon solo soap. I got her four of these for SAS. She used one. She's having, she's using another one now. Um, three more to go. Hey. Okay, so one to go. Down one down, three to go. Because <laughs> I got her four of these. You get the point. Okay. Anyway, Sorrento Lemons, Sugared Mint, and Fresh Verbena. Verbena. She liked it, but she's not like living, you know, but she liked it, yeah. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, it smells like a lemon sorbet. Sounds good. I'll live for it. Okay, work, Miss Lemon Shallow. Work. We stand. Will we repurchase this? Maybe. Possibly, yeah. yeah. But her favorite is still, the sun, is still the sun wash citrus. She still stands that. <laughs> okay, I finished a Swanson Ultima 16 strain probiotic. You know how this is. Like you take one a day. So my gut is like, you better work. Keep my gut healthy and fierce to prevent bloating. Honey. You better work. Oh. I'm gonna purchase that for sure. <laughs> Another one of these concealers, you guys. I'm telling you, you go through so many of these. That's the issue with this. Like, it's good product, but like, you can. It just. It's, it just. Ah, uh, it's like I'm torn. It's like it's like I said, three bucks. Is it worth it? Maybe it is. Because I mean, it's only three dollars. I just prefer the roll-ons because I hate this little applicator because I have to like do like that every single time with like with the roll-ons. You know, my ultimate favorite concealer for the face is that. Is it Maybelline? And then the Maybelline crayon one I used to always use because that was like a roll-on. You just rolled it all over your whole face. <laughs> I need to get more of those. But those are like, what, eight bucks now or something. So I don't know, girl. I don't know. I, mean, I think I'm going to have to go to Target and do another Target haul, I guess. Okay, 30 Light Honey. We love, we stand. Will I get more? Like I said, I'm on the fence. If I'm in Ulta, would I get more of this for three bucks? Probably. I mean, three bucks. You know what I mean? So I probably will repurchase this more. There we go. I went, we went from 50% to, to like 70% repurchase in this video. Third Light Honey, love it. We still stand now. Okay, we're almost done, you guys. I'm gonna end with the shower gels, okay? So let's do everything else. Um, okay, this, oh my God, let's talk about this really quick. So this is an empty because I'm throwing it out. Because this is like, this is like a declutter, girl. Okay. <laughs> Urban Decay Lipstick in Love Light. 
okay, Pine King's cute. The reason why I'm decluttering it, right? Okay, so it looks pretty, right? Pretty coral lip. Look what I see. Ew. What is that white film? Ew. Is that fungus? I don't know what that is, you guys. Ew. What is that white little fungi? <laughs> I'm done, you guys. Is that Mars? And I don't mean Kate. I'm done, you guys. What is that? Ew. So it's clearly gone bad. There's like a white little film. It's not dust, I don't think. No. I have old lipsticks from past, and they don't look like that when you like, you know, turn it up like that. Ew. So that is definitely going in the garbage. I love saying it like that. Garbage. <laughs> so obnoxious, but we stand right. So that's gonna go where it belongs. Like, trash, sweetie. So that's in the shade Love Light, in case you want to get it. I don't think they even make it anymore. I don't know. I got this years ago. Urban Decay. Bye. Ew. What is that? Ew. Okay. Anyway, I had to declare that. And then this Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue, because of course, pink everything. Um, uses for to keep these bad girls on. These press ons, honey. Yes, a little bit there. Five seconds, your nail is on. This thing, yes, always a purchase. Love it. And this just comes in the nail kit, so I don't even have to purchase it by itself. But yeah. Okay, love it. Always a purchase. This is another declutter from the rack, you guys. Oh my god. Okay. Why do you think I'm a, pr a purchasing? No, I'm not purchasing this. Why do you think I'm decluttering this little rack blush? Why do you think? Why did I buy this? This is not for my skin tone, you guys. Let me swatch this. Look at that. How is that gonna even... What is that? It just like, it doesn't even show up. Like, like a light pink. It's pretty, but like... Look, you blend it into your skin. It literally just the color of my skin almost. Like, it just like disappears on my skin tone. So, I don't even know how that even work? And if you have a lighter skin tone than me, I don't even think that, like, this blush doesn't make any sense. Make this make sense for me. If you're wider than me, it would look, it would disappear, right? And then if you're darker than me, it would look, oh, well, I guess maybe if you're, I just feel like it would look chalky and weird on, like, somebody darker than me. And then lighter than me and me, it disappears on my skin tone. So, Make this make sense. This this color, it's called Tinge. Buildable, buildable girl. Well, I believe that because like, okay, there's this other one. It's really pretty. It's like a purple one. It's like ultraviolet. It's so, that one is gorgeous. This one is just so light. This makes sense. It's too light. It just, I don't know how, who would this would look good on? I don't understand it. Like what skin tone would this work? Like this looks like a compact or something. Like, like a setting powder <laughs> color, you know, for maybe it's a, like somebody who's like I don't know, really pale. I don't know, not really pale, but like you know what I mean. It, it looks more like a setting powder than a blush for like somebody white. I don't know. It's just weird. Like it's like it's pretty. Like the color is pretty. Like I mean, what is that? Like how is that a blush on any skin tone? Like how would that work? That wouldn't look good on any skin tone, in my opinion. So this is I'm never gonna use it. So it's gonna be the cluttered Lorac tinge. It makes me cringe. <laughs> On this. Okay, water break really quick. Or almost in 50 minutes. Yes! Um, I love long empties. Like and subscribe. Okay. Okay. Another declutter girl. Love and Beauty. Remember Forever 21 they used to have Love and Beauty line? Girl. Shimmer powder. Girl, what the hell is this? So, is this supposed to be a highlight? Like, what is that? Like, ew. Look how chalky and gross that is. Like, I would never use that as a highlight. Like, what is that? Like, ew. Like, what is that? Like, pink chalk. Like, and powder. So, press shimmer. So, this is supposed to be a shimmer powder. So, you're supposed to put this, like, what? You know what I think this maybe is for? Maybe this is supposed to be like to touch up. Like to blot. So I guess I can use it to blot. But if I put that on my face to blot, it'd make my face look really ashy and chalky. Like, I don't know. 
I don't know, like, would I ever use this to blot? I definitely wouldn't use this to set my foundation. Girl, like, look at that. Like, I don't know. What is, I don't know. What do you guys think? Or am I just tripping? See, if I put it on there, it just kind of looks chalky. You see? Like, ew. If I use this to blot, that would make my face look crazy. Like, Elizabeth I. <laughs> Remember when she put that white makeup on her? I mean, it looked iconic for, like, what? the 16th century but not like now like girl like ew and then i don't know i don't know just no for it's a no and no it's old too so it, she, she needs to go the fact that she's kind of cute but yeah so love and beauty shimmer powder i, I, I didn't want okay one more time because that was kind of a lame throw here okay. act act two take two Love and Beauty Shimmer Powder. Bad it. Oh, that was lame too. Okay. <laughs> I want to make a huge noise. I didn't want to like hit the wall and break and then my bed's all ruined. <laughs> Bye, girl. Okay. Are we done? Okay. Or I'm almost done. I've been saying that for like 20 minutes. We're almost done. Um, Mom finished two pocket bags. Yay! Pocket bags. Okay. She finished uh, Island Margarita. She, this one was just okay. She wasn't like this one that much. Um, but this one she liked, Kikor Melon. So this one she would maybe get again. But there's like a whole bucket full. So we won't be getting more for a long time. Well, she's gonna use up what we, uh, what she likes. But yeah. Kikor Melon she liked. Ala Margarita, no. So Ala Margarita, no for purchasing. Kikor Melon, maybe one day we'll purchase that one, yeah. So that's my review on that. So this here, girl, is trash, girl. <laughs> okay, you guys, the more shower orders and then we're done, you guys. Peace Ice Raspberry Bellini. This one smells like a snow cone. I love it. This is marketed as a Christmas scent. No, this is a spring summer scent for me. Chilled Prosecco, Sparkling Raspberry, Citrus Twist. Smells like a snow cone. I liked it. Would I get more in it? Probably not, but it's good. It's really good. There's no floral in it, so I'm happy with it. Anything with no floral in it, I'm good with it, girl. <laughs> Oh, God. It smells like a raspberry snow cone with, like, lemon. Oh, so good. I did like it, but it's what I'm done. Yeah. Peace Ice Iced Raspberry Bellini. <laughs> and then Desert Wallflower Girl. Oh, Lord. And I have backups of this, too. Oh, okay. So this came out in 2018. Intriguing Woody. Okay. That's what it says here. <laughs> okay, so wildflower is blended with jasmine and creamy sandalwood. It smells pretty. It smells like a shampoo, right? But in the bath, I like it in the bath, but because of the floral, it just, ooh. But I'm going to use it up because I have multiples of this because at the time I was into kind of floral sometimes here and there. But like six years ago when I bought this. So it's a pretty scent. Again, if you love woodsy floral stuff, this is up your alley. If you don't, then you don't. So... I'll use what I have on it, but after that, never again. And then last, but definitely not least, where's coconut milkshake, girl? Ooh, this one's good. I have a little story about this in a minute, I'll tell you. Okay, vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, sugared amber, you guys. This is like 97% pumpkin cupcake, repackaged, almost, but not quite. Pumpkin cupcake is still better, and I wish I would have hoarded this, and I'll tell you why. Because it smells near enough to pumpkin cupcake. The reason I didn't hoard this last summer, I got a few backups, but I didn't hoard it. Like, I didn't get, like, 20 or something like that. Because I thought, okay, pumpkin cupcake is coming in a few months, in the fall of last year. Let me just not have, like, a million cents that smell exactly the same. But then that never came back. So I don't have pumpkin cupcake, and I only have a few of these left. And this one, you know what I mean? So now I wish I would have hoarded that. And yeah, so anyway always hoard <laughs> if you love a scent always hoard it's better to have it and then return it you know what i mean it's better better to have it and not more of the story anyway the more you know girl <laughs> anyway um so yeah i love this one it's really good pumpkin cupcake is still bay over this but this is really good so if you miss pumpkin cupcake use up your um whipped coconut milkshake it's really good this probably will never come back but if, they, if this ever comes back will they get more on it yeah, it's really, really good Gourmand. But I really wish they'd bring back Pumpkin Cup this fall. Bath and Bioworks, if you're watching this video, bring back Pumpkin Cupcake this fall. We miss you so much. 
We need pumpkin cupcakes back this fall. And we need Christmas cookies back this Christmas. Please. So I can hoard it. I will get 30 of each. I'm not even kidding. Pumpkin cupcake, you bring it back back to the Bunny It smells like it always does. Strong and sweet and good. I will get 30 of you. Same with uh, Christmas cookies. I'll get 30 of you too if you come back with it. Or even repackage it, girls. Bring it back, Miss Mama. Oh, and I heard they're coming back. This is a random scent. Uh, tangent. But they're coming back with a vanilla scent this spring. Like for spring three, I heard. Maybe. And But I heard it's a repackage of Wicked Vanilla Woods. Anyway. Um, hate Wicked Vanilla Woods. One of my favorite passion. But I love this. So we will purchase this if it ever, ever comes back. Love this, girl. Definitely going to purchase that if it comes back. Okay. Wicked Vanilla Woods. Never, though. Oh, girl. Um, that's it, you guys. That's it. Why am I doing a sad face, girl? I've been here for almost an hour, girl. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it, you guys. Another empty is probably coming in another month and a half or two months. I love an empties. Honestly, this is my favorite to film now. I love an empties. They're the best. Rants, reviews, fun. It's like we're hanging out and talking about each other's empties. So let me know what you emptied in the comments below. Leave a comment, like, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I thought my nail popped off, but it blended in with a shirt. <laughs> it's black. So yeah, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and yeah, more empties coming. Bath and Body Works Hall, I don't know, when they have some fun new scents, girl, I'm waiting, Bath and Body Works. Is your new Bridgerton collab? Uh, no, girl, I don't need that. The new season of Bridgerton on Netflix, yeah, we need that, girl. Part one, May, part two, June, hey. But Bridgerton collab for Candles and Body Care? Who asked for that? Mm, no shade, but girl. Anyway, you guys, so spring three, there won't be a haul, but summer one, maybe. Bath and Butters, we need some good summer scents. So haul, either May or June, for Bath and Body Works, and another empties in May, and yeah, <clears throat> end of April or May, around that time frame, so. I love you, if you love empties, like, comment, subscribe, Mwah! Until next time, bye guys.